Good morning. Today we are going to talk about the DeLonghi. I guess that's how you say it. DeLonghi espresso machine. That's your espresso machine right here. Top comes off right here. Fill it up in there. Oh, I got water in it still. Oops, I stopped using this. I guess I should probably dump that out. All right. We have a cap. This is a cap that makes it to where it's lower. Say you've got some shot glasses in here and you don't want to get some splash anywhere. You just put that cap onto it, snap it on, gives you lower. There you go. Oh no. I guess. Yeah. So you have your two shot glasses there. This is your milk warmer, the steamer. I think that's what killed my machine so obviously it's not a, it's a good machine this really is a good machine um, I just don't use it anymore because it broke on me so you've got your little coffee holder that's your little that holds down your coffee jank if you need to empty it but it's pretty simple fill up your coffee in there it even has a nice little measuring guide for you. It says a two and a four for two shots and four shots. You lock that in place there. You have your water. You lock that on. If you'd like to do some steamed milk with this mechanism, then you just loosen this right here. And the more steam you want, you can open it up all the way. It spins a lot. Okay, so you can open it up all the way, but it always will come out of this coffee dispenser here, the espresso dispenser, as well as your steamer area. So don't think that if you open it all the way, you're just going to be able to steam. Not true. You need to do both at the same time. If you're not having coffee run through or something and you do just want to steam your milk, just put a glass here to catch it because it will be dripping out water and or you can just straight put it all into your coffee cup you can close this off 100% or you can have it anywhere in between and boom I did not really use this and it's funny because I actually used it about it was a few months ago and this thing has not worked since. So, sad to say, I had to retire this. I'm going to sell the parts on eBay, I guess. Because um, I guess somebody's selling like just this little piece for $7.99. That's ridiculous. I paid like 40 bucks for the thing. Maybe. A couple years ago, Black Friday. Um, so, that's pretty much all that there is to this. And then you've got your power button. Power button is right here. Um, it does make it in a very short amount of time. I would recommend this to anybody that is looking for a cheap espresso maker. It really did its job. Um, personally, I recommend you get a carafe. It's an Italian coffee maker. Simple. Easy. Might take a little bit longer, but delicious but the DeLonghi is definitely good if you're looking for a countertop style um, you can have it prepared for you it does not have a timer so you can't just put it on a timer and wake up and you've got this perfect espresso ready for you it's nothing like that it's just simple get you through your college or whatever it may be but um I wanted something fancy. I don't like the Keurigs. And I really don't like this. I, I mean, really, I'm done with coffee makers that have all of these bodies and mechanisms um, when I've got all I need right there. Boom! You see how small that is and portable? And I can clean it all the way. 
but I do recommend this for anybody that's looking for a countertop style. I really wish, let's see if it'll turn on. So that way I can give you guys a real demonstration as to how it works. I'm not quite sure if it's going to work. Guys. All right, it's on. The power button turns on. Let's see if we can get something to come out. There's water in there, but I would always just put my coffee cup in there just like that. Let's see if it'll do anything. I'm pretty sure it's crapped out though. telling you, you will never get a better cup. Mm. Better than Starbucks. Words I never thought I'd say. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Doesn't even feel like it's getting warm. One thing about this machine though, it is dramatic. I call it drum dramatic because it gets really, really, really loud when it's finishing it off. It's, you can hear it throughout the whole house and it sounds like somebody's tearing down a wall right at the end where it's pushing all the rest of the excess water through for the top of the espresso. I guess the heating element is dead in this. It's the only thing I can think of. But it doesn't matter. Like I said, I think I paid 39 bucks for it. Probably, it was a year or two ago. It lasted about a year, I think. And I was happy with that. Disposable. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and say 
it's dead. I thought it was dead. That's why it's been on top of my refrigerator. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Would recommend it for a disposable one. Would not recommend it if you're looking for something nice and fancy that's going to last you a long time.